got an MOO in your program, and so you're going to back off the the head. Now with these um, these ITS heads, I usually pick some whole number around where I want to back off to. So so I'm going to pick this number one, and I'm going to back the head off. So what you're going to do is I'm going to come back one revolution and a little beyond and then come back up to the number one of course to take out any backlash that might be in there like that then we're going to run it so so this would be roughly about three or four thousandths undersized <laughs> Okay, let's check to see what we've got. Okay, I actually indexed the insert and I backed the head off one more thousandths of an inch just to be safe with the new insert. So, here of course is our, our uh, nominal size or the half an inch that we want to go to like you saw with the set ring. So we've got six and a half thousandths to come out now. Normally I would back this off one revolution of the of this particular boring head on the dial which is four thousand so we would be you know right about here usually but because I index the insert I want to be a little more careful here and I uh there's some shavings in this hole. I want to be a little more careful so I backed it off a little further because of the new insert tip. So now we, we've got to come back on our, uh, you know, at least six and a half thousandths, but you don't want to come back the whole way because taking this rough cut, the tool has been pushed off some. And if you just went the whole six and a half thousandths on your boring head right now, it would cut it oversized. So we want to come a portion of that way. So we could easily go four thousandths and not be oversized, it looks like. So we'll go one revolution on the, on the adjustment, which is four thousandths on this boring here. We want to adjust this. Now, I backed this off a little more because I indexed the insert. So as we saw when we measured the bore, we want to go um, we're going to say one revolution on this boring head, which is four thousandths of an inch. So you want to unclamp this screw, and you want to try to do the same thing. You all, you know, consistency here is, is what's important. So don't back this screw off and then snug it up or anything. In this particular kind of head, I just back the screw off. This is the little clamp screw that clamps things, and uh, and I don't fiddle around with this tension on this because it, it changes the if you, if you tension that a little bit or do anything when you adjust this head it's going to change the amount of force there is on the adjustment mechanism here and it's going to change your setting and you can't be consistent this way so just back it off and this turns this way to adjust it so we're going to go one full revolution which is four thousandths of an inch here this case. We're going to just go a portion of the way because what we're fighting is push off with this this tool when it bores the hole and as you get closer to the, the nominal size you're going for you you uh, you can make smaller and smaller adjustments but this is our first bigger adjustment and it should take us um, closer but not oversized.
Okay, we're still like about all of these indicators. We're still like about 2.7 thousandths to go. All the holes are running pretty much the same. We're gonna go. I'm gonna leave. I want to leave a thousandth of an inch still to go. So. I'm going to go one, and we're going to go point seven thousandths. This should bring us within a thousandth of an inch. Let's see where we're at. Right at a, a thousandth of an inch to go to get to our the bottom of our size. Actually, our size is here to plus five to ten thousandths. So we got to go a thousandth of an inch to get into tolerance. Now we, we know we have to go a thousandth of an inch minimum to get to our bore size. Okay? But because of tool push off and everything, you don't really want to go the full thousandth of an inch. So we back off the clamp screw here, and we're going to go, this is three, and then we're going to go four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to go eight ten thousandths of an inch and run it there and see where we're at. Now that we're getting closer to size, we can we can make adjustments that are closer to our actual setting we want to go to. So it looked like we we need to go four to five ten thousandths. So I'm gonna go one two three. I'm go um, just a shade less than four ten thousandths of an inch. Check the bores again. It's right on the minimum size. Technically, that's uh, technically that's intolerance. That's a little bit small, actually. It might be a tenth of a thousand. If we go deeper back into the holes. To do is we're just going to rerun the, the boring head. We're not going to make any changes, we're just going to rerun it. Okay, let's see where we're at now. We just reran the boring head and didn't make any change at all. Get this. Yeah, it cut a little bit bigger. Now we're right in the middle of the tolerance. 